Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to combine what you've learned in our shops tutorial as well as our toolbars tutorial um, to add items to your toolbar via the shop. So um, here's an example of what I'm talking about. So we collect our coins and we have our little toolbar here in the bottom left and that's in our toolbars video. There's a part one which is all you'll need for this one. Um, part two teaches you how to make it into a key and door system. Here's my little shopkeeper sprite. So if I walk into them, ask me if I'd like to buy the jumping boots for 10 coins. So I'll say yes. And now you'll see I have my little jumping boots in my toolbar here. So if I hop over into our code here, um, what I have here is um, this is our, the exact code we had at the end of our shops tutorial. Um, and all I've added in are these functions here. Um, so the tutorials for all of this will be put in the little card up the top right. Um, and I'll also put them in the description as well. But here we've got our toolbar, add item, and find value. And those have all come from our toolbars part one video. So I'll show you them quickly anyway. So this creates an empty toolbar, selects, make sure nothing's selected, and places it in the bottom left corner. It makes it move with our camera. Add item just adds an item with a name and an image into our uh, toolbar here. And find value just helps us find where in our toolbar an item is. So if you want to copy those down, you can. And this is our purchase item function from our uh, shops tutorial. And one thing we did miss in our tutorial is I forgot to put these two blocks of code in here underneath the uh, success in this box, which is the successful purchase. Um, so what these are doing is just taking away the coins because at the moment you're getting them for free. So make sure you add this in um, if you've just finished the shop tutorial. So what we need to do is um, inside our shopkeeper sprite, we need to make it uh, save an image to associate with the item. So if we go over to our shopkeeper here, and we can duplicate, oh no, we can't duplicate it because we need to save it as an image. So if you go into sprites and scroll down to the bottom, you'll need this set item data to image in there. Change item to whatever your shopkeeper sprite is called. And in data, we'll just put image, oh, oops, capitals, put image, and then in here, is where you will draw the image that will become your sprite. So I've already made my jumping boots here. So they get saved inside your shopkeeper sprite. Okay. So now if we go back over to our purchase item block, so inside this part, which is our successful purchase, we want to go down to our advanced section and to functions and we can grab out the add item function that we made so this goes in here where it says abc this is where you want to put in your item name so we can just duplicate it from here and put it in so shop giver data item and then in my image we want to go down into the bottom of sprites again and we'll grab out this item data as image, pop it in, and select image here. And where it says item, just drag shopkeeper from the top of your function. So this is um, actually all it is. It's just putting in this little function here. Um, but I understand why that's confusing. It is a bit, there's a lot of code going on. Um, so this is just here to clear anything up. Um, for anyone who was confused, so save it as um, save it inside your shopkeeper sprite with the sprite data extension, 
and then use the function that we made to put that into your toolbar. So if we run through, we can collect up our coins, talk to our sprite, press yes, and now our little boots are in there. So there we go, that's all you need to know. Um, if there are any questions, let us know. And um, the code will be, this all this code here will be in the description if you'd like to copy it from there. Yes, so I hope you've enjoyed and hope it was helpful. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.